COVID-19 is once again casting doubt on New Year's Eve celebrations across the globe. Here in New York, the highly anticipated annual Times Square ball drop will only host 15,000 fully vaccinated and masked attendees. Some people are calling off their plans altogether. You have to be safe. You have to do what you think is right. As long as we're vaccinated and everyone takes care of each other and we are protected and we're, we wear our masks, which I don't have right now because I'm sitting down having dinner with my family, I think we will be okay. But Dr. Purvi Parikh, an immunologist with NYU, you Langone Health says there is a way to celebrate safely. I would um, consider gathering in much smaller groups, uh, even 10 or less, um, in places where you can really distance, uh, if not even mask, too. A handful of New York City bars and restaurants crippled by the coronavirus pandemic are moving full steam ahead with added precautions. We are extremely a lot more careful in uh, how, we, how we handle it, of course, uh, uh, mandatory that everyone is vaccinated. Mauro Lusardi, who owns Uva on the Upper East Side, says many patrons are opting to make reservations outdoors, either in the restaurant's curbside dining area or backyard garden. There's also no cancellation fee in the case of an emergency. Coronavirus cases in South Africa have actually dropped in recent days, signaling that the country's Omicron-fueled surge may have actually passed its peak. Experts here in New York are, of course, hoping we follow suit, but they say it's better to be safe than soft when it comes to ringing in the new year. Reporting from the Upper East Side, Briella Tomasetti, Fox 5 News.